Hello, 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 hello. So today we are doing uh, data structures and algorithm questions which are asked in interview. So uh, today's question is designed to buy and sell the stock. Before I talk about this question, I would like to tell you about a uh, few things I think which are beneficial for you. So there is a, a link for Hindi version of this video uh, in the description. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, the link will be in the description. If you want to read about the process or what the code is saying in your language, which is English, Hindi, or English, which is um, Hindi written in English form. That documentation link will be in the description below. So do check it out. And now let's uh, go ahead and tackle this question. So uh, let's understand. So uh, let's first uh, understand what we are given and what we have to do. So we have to output an integer and we are given a vector of type integer whose name is price. Okay, we got this from our function and definition and our function name is max profit. So obviously if the function name is max profit, that means we have to find the maximum profit. So from here, what we can gather, uh, the information which we can gather is that we have a price uh, vector or an array. It is very loosely uh, used here array and vector has have a few uh, dissimilarities but we use uh, vectors in very general way in C++. so i just wanted to clarify that so don't get confused between vectors and array they behave like a, uh, like they behave in a same way so we have a price a vector where price i is the price the, the uh, element at index i which is this the number is the price of a stock and the index is the day. I want it to be clear as day. The element at index i is price and the index value is day. So don't get confused. So if the price, uh, the index value for this is zero, but the element at zero is seven. So seven is price and zeroth index is day. Okay, so basically we have to find the profit, max profit to be very honest, and who does not love maximum profit or maximum return. So to get a profit, you know, just a sec. Okay, to get a profit, you know that your selling price should be greater than your cost price which is your buying price cost price should be low and selling price should be high if you minus this that will give you profit okay so this is your profit so what we have to do is to get to get maximum profit is to find the cheapest price cheapest cost price so in our case the cheapest uh, price which we are getting is at index one which is one so if we buy at one with like let's say one dollar or one rupee and if we sell at six or seven our profit will be maximum so if we bought at one and if we sell at six then our profit is five which is given here so this is what we have to do it is an easy question so let me uh, write a code and i will walk through it walk you through it right so let's say we will make uh, max enter max profit to store the profit and let's initialize it at zero so this will store the profit and this will compare the profit and the maximum profit uh, will be outputted right and then we can say int uh, min price uh, is equals to int max. So I know for beginner this is confusing why we are writing int max when we want a minimum price. This will give us minimum price. There is whole concept in stack where um, we go through this int why int max uh, gives us uh, our uh, maximum and why int min give 
sorry int max gives our ma minimum and int min give our maximum so to like to tell you in very general form there is this stack in memory when you use int max all the maximum values go get stored here and when the maximum values get stored like from down to up the minimum value which you have is at the top of the stack so when we say int max this value get access so the minimum value in the whole stack is at top and that what we store here in in my enterprise that's how we get the minimum from that stack right and if you know the stack and queue principle so queue is uh, your first in first out and stack is your last in first out last in first out so this is last in so this will be first out so this is stack and queue concept if you want i can go through this in a separate video but yeah this is what is happening here that's why we are getting minimum for uh, store minimum price store here in minimum price so now we will traverse through our day not in a capital form because yeah now let's just do traversing it i will start from zero i will be less than equals to prices dot size and uh, i will plus plus so this will go through all the indexes and what we want is we want a min price so we will say min price and i will use min function this will compare two values and give us minimum between two values so i will say okay min price i will say okay we are going through every index that means we can access the element at every given day so tell me what is the minimum price between our variable which we have defined and the price at given index right and if the price at given index is minimum that will be stored in our min price so i will say uh, min is equals to min price and uh, uh, price dot price i the, so this will compare between price i and min price which is this and this okay and if like uh, if this price is less than this that min price will be this one if this price is minimum than this then min price equals to min price so this is what uh, will happen here okay and for max profit for max profit i can say max profit uh, and i will say compare between <coughs> find a maximum between max profit uh, okay max profit how we define max profit max profit is a function name so it's not max profit because max profit is a function name we have defined max pro so compare between max pro and again selling price minus cost price so we have our selling price which is equal to which is let's say we bought at this and we will minus at the price so we have a current price and we will minus from minimum price that will give us profit so if current price is 6 and the value stored in min price is 1 then this will give us 5 so we will do this and all we have to do is just return max profit because we have to return an integer so all we will do is just return uh, max profit so that's that's the code that's it so let me check whether okay i'm closing for loop here okay 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 let's run it i was checking for syntax and all so 
again min price min price is not declared okay in min price i declared here p r i c e p r i c e into x i have declared why it is showing error which is not declared price is not okay prices it is prices and here also not price but prices because here it is named as prices so as you can see it is running fine and our test cases have been passed like it is running and our test cases is being passed so this is how you code for best time to buy and sell stocks i hope uh, you learned something and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye peace and if you want to watch this same video in hindi link is in the description and again if you want to read about it link is in the description